looking at the impact of the virus, what's the biggest surprise in your analysis from an ESG standpoint? Uh, hi, good morning. Um, well, there are, these are surprising time, I guess. And as we face unprecedented times uh, globally dealing with the coronavirus, um, it's disrupting obviously many lives and livelihoods. And I'm perhaps a lucky one uh, talking to you from uh, the comfort of my home. Um, but one of the most significant surprises uh, in our research has been the decline in carbon emissions uh, on the back of the coronavirus, and in particular in China, which has been remarkable. Uh, in just one month, uh, we saw a drop of 120 million tons of carbon emissions, which is the equivalent of Qatar annual emissions. And if we were to annualize this number, it would be equivalent to Brazil, Saudi Arabia and Canada's annual combined annual emissions of about 1.5 billion tons. So this matters because China remains the world's largest emitters um, since it represents about 30 percent of world's global carbon emissions. Um, another surprise has also been coming from China, the fact that there has been an improved um, an improvement in air pollution. And this also matters in China since in 2017, uh, air pollution was linked to a third of the death. So these are two surprises that we came across in our research looking at China and the coronavirus so far. Okay.